beautiful strangers and welcome to Cat React. I'm Cat and I react to pretty much anything I want. Nothing complicated, nothing fancy, just a woman reacting to wherever she can stumble on on the internet. It's uh, it's pretty amateurish, but that's the way I like it. Today I will be reacting to a film called High Spirits. Um, I, th I think it's from 1998, which is coincidentally the year I was born. Already a great start. Other than that, I have no idea. So, if you want to join me in uh, the journey of discovering what this film is all about, then great, hop on and let's go. Is this gonna be a scary film? I can't, I can't handle another scary film. It does not start well for me. Damn it, I have to start researching these films. The hotel is in tip-top condition. What you're saying is that if I don't come up with the money in three weeks, you will foreclose and take over Castle Plunkett. Oh! No! Hello, that's a bit extreme. Just pack your bags and go to Bora Bora or something. Your father's so worried he's tearing his hair off! Well, the father has been dead for a decade. And what about Grandmother, how do you think she feels? Mother, grandmother is dead too. She's still upset. What a wonderful idea. What, darling? Ghosts. Ghosts? Ghosts in a creepy castle in England. I'm sorry. My apologies. Ghosts in a creepy castle in freaking Ireland is not a good idea. What are you ghosts here? I know, but there will be. We'll invent them. Uh, ghosts need such things to exist. Thank you. Oh! Oh! Anybody dead down there? Only the corpse, Eamon. This is a little um, ethically dubious, I would say. Scanning people out of their money. On our left, we have the Harlem Bog, home to more grisly and gruesome murders than. Oh! Ah! 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 Things are not particularly getting better, I see. Welcome to Castle Plunkett. Okay, Mom, you've got us here. Now, where are these ghosts? I'm afraid there are no ghosts here. Oh, a cynic, Mr. Clay. No, a parapsychologist. Neither of you know. Meet in the middle. Who's that? Mary Plunkett. She died right here in Castle Plunkett 200 years ago. She was murdered on her wedding night by the hand of her newly wedded husband. If someone would say this to me, I would pack my bags and leave. The full moon has risen above Hochlin Bog. Well, if there are any ghosts in this castle, I have to God they put on a better show than this one. Oh, thanks, Bob Bev. Um... Excuse me. Uh, I don't believe in ghosts. Oh, that's the most pathetic display that I've ever seen. Oh! Oh! Dad! How many times do I have to tell you no? Ah! Oh, what? Oh, no. Maybe Jim Brogan will give us another chance. Jim Brogan? Uh, Jack. Yeah. He has the mortgage on the place and we've only got two weeks left and then he's going to throw us out. Why did we do it? We did it because we love this place. Jim Brogan is my father-in-law. I didn't 
know. How could you have known? Are you wondering about castles in Ireland on a daily basis? <laughs> Daddy wants this place. He's always wanted it. He was born here. He hates the Blunkets. Why? Why not? Why not? They seem like lovely people. It's you who's being the arrogant son of a bitch. Well, daughter of a bitch, but still. Where are you going? Get drunk. Yeah. Oh, it's a daisy. This looks like it's gonna cause you guys hallucinations. Perfect. Milk of human kindness, Sharon. Well, uh, love, this is not your room, and this doesn't seem to have been anyone's room for probably about a thousand years. Ew. <laughs> ah! Ah! Lady! No, this was not rehearsed. This was definitely not rehearsed. Unless it's like the, uh... You know, the mirror thing, trick. Oh, I know you! You're the girl the painting! Oh, yeah, we harlot! <laughs> what the fuck is going on now? Why don't I believe you? <laughs> oh, hey! You cannot kill a ghost. You cannot kill a ghost. She's gonna wake up. How can you? How, how can she be bleeding? She's dead. She's a ghost. I assume she came through the wall. Oh, God. What have I done? You killed her. I told you, you killed her. Is that freaking Liam Neeson? I swear to God, I think that's Liam Neeson. Oh. Okay, go check on that lady. Ah, oh, this is a mess. If this is how shit is going down, I am going to jump, scream, and probably run. Ah! Oh, oh, oh no, no. Is this gonna happen all over again? So, yowie harlot! I did say that this was a questionable alcohol. It's messing with his mind. It's hallucinations. If I would have drunk an alcohol from the 1500s or something, I'd probably see this stuff too. Mary Plunkett. How can I thank you? For what? For your selflessness. You're so beautiful. And so dead. Thank you. Don't go. Good morning, darling. Good morning, Lavinia. Our son is an idiot. We've known that for years, haven't we, darling? Oh, if only I hadn't died, none of this would ever have happened. Well, you did die, didn't you, darling? Oh, yes, <laughs> <laughs> this lady kills me. <laughs> Good man, if you hear a woman crying in an abandoned castle, like an old historic castle, leave. <laughs> yeah! Oh, no! No, creepy! No, I don't deal with shadow figures. No. Oh, creepy! No, no, she's not. I have to thank you for what you did last night. You gave me my first moment of peace in near 200 years. Why the heck is she flying? Okay, she um, has lost her mind. Leave the horse. You're in the middle of a thunderstorm. Leave the horse. Would your name conceivably be Jack? Are you losing your mind? <laughs> ah! Sweet Jesus, what happened to you? Ran into a little wind. Oh dear. That would be the spirits in the castle. Look, this is too psychotic for me. Me too. And then, and then Ronaldo, the talking horse here. That should also be a highlight of your mental breakdown. If you're talking to a horse, that responds to you. My marriage to Martin Brogan was arranged by my father. I did not love him. He had warts and his feet stank. He thought I loved another. And in a jealous fury... He did me to death. I could love you, Sir Jack. No, no, you could not. There are um, about 200 years between the two of you. Ah! <laughs> 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 there 
is a stinking man standing behind her in the bathtub. That freaks me out. Oh, that hurts me, Goldrick. Jack! Oh, wait, There's I'm a gonna... man in my bathtub. He had warts all over his Oh, whoa, yeah, right, 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 That's Martin. Who's Martin? He's a ghost. Honey, we've got to talk. No, you need a divorce. Yes, I do. I, I, I don't know. What's the problem then? She's a ghost. She's dead. I'm alive. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Oh, cleanse me of these impure thoughts I have. Setting him on fire because he has ungodly thoughts? Ah! Oh, this is not gonna be good. This is not, this is gonna be ah! Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Get those nuns out of there. Get those. These are not even nuns. These are some aliens. You can just tell. Ah! trying to do? Cleanse them off their sins? The Book of High Spirits. Okay. Ooh, maybe not scare people who are already on the edge. I'm the brochure! I'm the brochure! We're talking real, live spirits here! Oh, wow. Mary? Who's Mary? Jack, don't stand there and tell me that you're having an affair with a goddamn Well, ghost. I am! You're the conflict! <laughs> <laughs> this is Mary! No, Martin! This is Mary! Oh. Mary the ghost! So, yeah, we harlot! Why don't I believe you? Believe this! Honey, honey, you can't just kick a ghost! Did you see that? I love you. I know that. That was a dirty trick, wasn't it? Hey. Hey. Oh. Kicking me right in the bahookies. I would scream. Oh, they know when the joke is over. What is going on here? Have you been keeping people in your castle? Oh, God have mercy. No, 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 no. Um, some, some people want to have a word with you. Who? Guests who have overstayed their welcome? Your daddy. But he's dead! Not so dead I can't see what a numbskull you are. Oh, yeah, old daddy is not made of solid material anymore. Oh, was that necessary? Actually, sure, I know I'm a ghost and a murderer, but forget about all that. Imagine you go on Tinder and you see a guy that proclaims he's both a ghost and a murderer. Would you go out with him? The night's All Hallows Eve. The one night in the year that I turn to flesh. He's like 300 years old. His dick is probably a dust. Wow. Oh, Liddy, I've got the best boogies from here to Ballanderry. She's not gonna sleep with a ghost. Especially a very, um, ethically dubious ghost. He who taps with the spirit finds only the grave. You got a bit of a draft. Maybe take care of that issue. It's not good when storms are forming inside. Oh, God, you're real. Cheater, cheater. I mean, I hate his wife, but he's still a cheater. I formally declare this a spirit-free zone! <laughs> I'm not he is essentially shagging a ghost. At best, a 300-year-old woman. No! Freaking no! 
God, that's my shagging bush. That's your shagging bush. Okay. Sharon. Sharon, I love me. And tonight's bohoogie night. He is all levels of disturbed. Jack, yeah. remember our promise? Yeah. Remember? Yeah. We can't. Sharon, this isn't a joke anymore. This isn't a joke anymore. That's that's for sure. Ah! <laughs> oh, freaking hell! Jesus, Mother and Mary! You're kissing a corpse! Mary, what's happened? What's happened? She's a corpse! She's 300 years old, I'm trying to tell you! <sighs> See, now, he's being superficial because he loved her when she was all beautiful and, and young and, and material. But now, because he's a corpse, he doesn't love her. He's superficial. Hi, Marty. Where's the wife? <laughs> Don't mind you, don't. Yours. Whoops. Where's your wife? Okay. You threw me over for this? Between the two of you, I would choose the corpse. She's half dead. No, she's completely dead. Jack. Can you kiss Can you kiss you? You do not go around kissing corpses. That is just... No. Just um, no. Just don't um, do that. Oh, Sharon, you do love me, don't you? Yeah. Well, then be with me. Be with me forever. Any way you want it. <gasps> oh, Sharon. Oh, Sharon. <gasps> what? What the F is going on now? Forever, Jack. Well, I, I don't understand. Did she go into Sharon's body and morphed herself into herself? Is he dead? Is she now alive? I don't... You're alive. I... How? Why do you mean I'm dead? Oh, no. Take my word for it. I think it'll have to be the worst vacation that I've ever experienced in my life. Thank you, Mr. Clare. However, I'll be recommending Castle Plunkett as the most haunted castle in the Western Hemisphere. I hope that helps you with your business. They're gone, dear. Okay, let's talk about it. All right, that was me watching High Spirits. I loved it. Uh, although it was it was twisted, it was weird, it was strange. It was not very. I mean, it's it's, it's 1988. You can't really expect the same computer tricks as we have now. Did not care for those Yoda nuns. Other than that, I liked it. It was perfectly weird, let's be honest. It, was, it wasn't it was a horror film as I expected, although to me some of the things were scary. But it's, it's a nice film that I, I think I would give like 3 out of 5 stars. You know, aside from the computer effects which weren't all that great. If you liked that video, you know what to do. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I put out new videos 5 days a week. I'll see you in the next video.